Every afternoon, as we were coming from school, my friends and I went and played in the witch's garden. Well, which was the nickname that Miss Mary was given at neighborhood because of her long gray hair, hunched back, and walking disability. As I mentioned before, it was a large lovely garden with soft green grass. Here and there over the grass stood beautiful flowers, and there were twelve peach trees that in the springtime broke out into delicate blossoms of pink and pearl, and in the autumn had rich fruit. The birds sat on the trees and sang so sweetly that we stopped our games to listen to them. One day, Miss Mary came back. She had been to visit her sister, who was very sick, and had stayed with her for seven years. After her sister passed away, she had decided to return to her house. When she arrived, she saw us playing in the garden. What are you doing here? She cried angrily, and we ran away. My own garden is my own garden, exclaimed the witch. Anyone can understand that and I will not allow anybody to play in it. Therefore, she built a high wall all round it, and put up a notice board, Trespassers will be prosecuted. She was a very selfish woman and now we had nowhere to play. We tried to play on the road, but the road was very dusty and full of hard stones, and we did not like it. We wandered round the high wall when our lessons were over, and talked about the beautiful garden inside. Then, the spring came, and all over the country there were little blossoms and little birds. However, in the garden of the selfish witch, it was still winter. The birds did not sing in it as there were no children, and the trees seemed to forget how to blossom. The only people who were pleased were the snow and the frost. The snow covered up the grass in white meanwhile the frost painted all the trees silver. Sat at the window and looked out at her cold white garden, Miss Mary wondered why the spring was so late in coming. I hope there will be a change in the weather. She muttered. But the spring never came, nor the summer. The autumn gave golden fruit to every garden, but to the witch's garden she gave none. She is too selfish, the autumn thought. One morning Miss Mary was lying awake in bed when she heard some lovely music. It was only a little linnet singing outside his window, but it was so long since she had heard a bird sing in his garden that it seemed the most beautiful music in the world. A delicious perfume came to her through the open casement. I believe the spring has come at last, Miss Mary mumbled, and she jumped out of bed and looked out. She saw a wonderful sight. Through a little hole in the wall, my friends had crept in, and they were sitting in the branches of the trees. In every tree that she could see, there was a child. And the trees were so glad to have the children back again that they had covered themselves with blossoms. The birds were flying about and twittering with delight, and the flowers were laughing. It was a lovely scene, only in one corner. It was still winter. It was the farthest corner of the garden, and in it was standing Peter. He was so small that he could not reach up to the branches of the tree, and he was wandering all round it, crying bitterly. The poor tree was still quite covered with frost and snow. How selfish I have been! Miss Mary murmured, Now I know why the spring did not come here. I will put that poor little boy on the top of the tree, and then I will knock down the wall, and my garden will be the children's playground for ever and ever. She was really very sorry for what she had done so she went out into the garden. But when we saw her walking, we were so frightened that we all ran away, and the garden became winter again. 
With his eyes full of tears, Peter did not see the witch coming. Miss Mary took him gently in her arms and put him up into the tree. And the tree broke at once into blossom, and the birds came and sang on it. Stretched out his two arms, Peter hugged Miss Mary and kissed her. At that moment, we realized that the witch was not wicked any longer, and we came running back. It is your garden now, little children, said Miss Mary happily. With great axe, she knocked down the wall. And when the neighbors were going to market at twelve o'clock they found the witch playing with us in the most beautiful garden they had ever seen.